Nearly two years ago, I covered a break in here at the Delta Foundation's building when money and autographed sports jerseys were stolen. Now thieves have struck again, taking equipment kids at the nonprofit use for their education. After our, that last break in, that's where we, we updated our systems um, and thinking that that would be uh, that would suffice. But the Portland Avenue building was hit again twice. The new system surveillance captured the latest burglary on Wednesday. It shows someone using a screwdriver to try and break into a locked room. We're told he couldn't get in that way, so he kicked the door open and got away with several items, including a TV, PlayStation, and several Chromebooks that JCPS students use for tutoring. And those Chromebooks are virtually useless, you know, outside, you know, the, the homework and things that uh, the kids do. Assistant Director Jason Scrub says this break in hurts because the basketball and mentorship program prioritizes education. Before the student athletes can hoop, they must complete their homework. But now there's fewer electronics to do so. We want to see the community thrive and do well. Um, so when you do things like that, you're, you're not affecting us personally, you're affecting your community. Despite yet another setback, Scrub says the nonprofit will propel forward, even expanding their free youth services to Newburgh. In the meantime, they're asking the public to help with donations. Whether it be technology, whether it be funding, whether it be books, whether it be clothing, uh, we're always uh, accepting of those things. And just like in basketball, there's a lesson in each loss. The one here is resilient in that the Delta Foundation will always get the rebound. From the Portland neighborhood, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.